Hi Flosstube, it's Mandy coming back at you for video number two. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name here is uh, StitchingB82 and on Instagram I am Stitcher underscore Fanatic82. So first of all, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart from all of the wonderful comments, the likes, and the subscribers. I can't believe after one video that I've been able to get the subscribers that I have and such uh, very sweet, kind uh, welcoming, uh, you know, comments from everybody. So just thank you so much for watching, commenting, and, uh, for coming back again for number two. So, uh, first off, I just want to start off with a little bit of the, uh, getting to know your stitcher tag. So I'll watch through a couple of the, uh, previous videos and, you know, figured out what the questions were. So, uh, where to start is where do you live? Well, I live in Saginaw, Michigan. It's about a couple hours north of Detroit. So, um, what do I do for a living? I uh, handle warranty claims for one of the big three uh, automakers. We're going to leave it at that. I really don't want to talk about my work here. So, um, am I married? Nope. No kids. I do have a pet. Her name is Stitches. She's a black cat and she is a bundle of fun. So I have a, I adopted her in March of 2018 from a rescue center where she had previously previously lived for 10 months in a really tiny cage and now she has the run of the whole apartment and I think she's just living it up. <laughs> uh, hobbies besides stitching, um, huge Green Bay Packers fan, so uh, go Pack Go. I am very excited about the fact that they uh, made it into the playoffs, got a uh, first round bye, so exciting to see how the playoffs go this year. I've dabbled a little bit in crochet, not enough to really uh, make it, I guess, to say that it's really a hobby. I've dabbled a little bit here and there, um, nothing that I even plan on doing any kind of regularly showing or anything of that nature. Favorite TV show? Absolutely love the Chicago series, all of them. Fire, Med, PD, just absolutely love them all. I uh, got started watching Chicago Fire in season two, absolutely fell in love with them, and went back, watched season one, and then stuck with watching the rest of the series. Uh, favorite book? I can't really say that I have a favorite book. It's more like favorite authors. Absolutely love Marie Force, which I did get to meet. Um, in 2018. Uh, she hosts a reader weekend every year in June and my sister and I went in 2018 and it was a blast. Um, other favorite authors, Jodi Pico, Ellen Hildebrand, I think it is, um, Jane Green, can't even think of any others I guess at the moment. So, I am a huge bookworm. I'm always reading something whether it's on my Kindle or just regular uh, printed books. So let me talk about some here and there. Favorite music? Absolutely love rock music. Uh, Shine Down is my favorite group. Absolutely love them. I've seen them twice in concert now. I have a subscription to Sirius XM and I am always listening to Octane, Turbo, definitely more of the rock genre. Um, last question is one word that describes you. This was a tough one. Um, dedicated, I guess. Dedicated to my family. Dedicated to my uh, hobby with uh, stitching. So, I guess dedicated. A bunch of different areas I could say that I'm dedicated in. So, um, all right. So I guess that's all the, uh, the questions for the getting to know your stitcher tag. So would like to show um, my whips. I've got four that I have worked on since my last video. I had a little bit of a stitching retreat right after Christmas where we spent um, about two and a half days just doing nothing but stitching. So, uh, first one that I'm going to show you is my Heaven and Earth. Um, well, first Heaven and Earth, Together We Stand. Uh, this is the Giant Eagles. I'm not taking it off of the Q-Snap. I've got it in a great place. So um, I do show pictures on Instagram, um, stitcher underscore fanatic, if you want to see um, my whole stitching on that thing, but to see the whole piece, it is this. It is a beast. I'm loving it. Uh, it is on 16 count Ada, uh, two threads over one. I started stitching this January 1st of 2017, so I do have a full three years stitching on it. 
I am currently working on page 32, large format uh, printed pattern. And uh, so, oops. lighting here. So currently working away on page 32. Like I said, there is a big eagle in flight right here. Can't really see, I guess his wings are up there and down here. Uh, so I guess I'm working into his head right here. So I am just absolutely loving this. So a couple of the um, challenges groups that I'm in, I am in the full coverage fanatics. I am currently working on the 20 in 20. So the goal is to sit, stitch 20,000 stitches in 2020 on one piece. So definitely got plenty of stitches on this piece to go. So working on uh, working my way through that. Um, within the same group, they have the National Park Challenges. Uh, first one is Acadia National Park. I actually got to go there uh, in 2019. Beautiful, beautiful area. So I just started working on that one as well. Um, in the group Semi-Sane Stitchers, they have a literacy challenge, reading 20 books, and for each page, stitching 25 stitches um, from there. So I am currently working through, the book I am reading is The Castaways by Ellen Hildebrand and uh, working my way through that one. So absolutely, absolutely love the piece. And the second piece is another Heaven and Earth. It is the mini version of Amy Stewart's uh, The Stitching Moon. So I just love all of the colors. It is just gorgeous. The only progress I've made on this one has been uh, stitching in the blue background. I think I want to say I'm right over here by that star. Haven't started that one, but uh, I'm definitely working on the background around it. This is another piece of 16 count Ada, uh, two over one. I'm not taking it out of the Q snap again on this one, but uh, you can see there. I've just been working right here. It's a really dark blue, 823, I think, maybe 820. One of those 800 numbers. Sorry for the lighting, but it is definitely a blue color. So, Needle Minder is from the, oops, that's upside down, M&M shop uh, in Times Square in New York City. So, uh, definitely need to get back to this. I really didn't touch it a whole lot in 2019 and uh, definitely, definitely need to get back to it. I started this February, I think, sometime of 2018. And I am working on page 8 of 20, I think it is. It's not 20 full pages. In fact, the page I'm working on here is a partial page. You can see that that's pretty skinny. And the next project I'm working on is a uh, Doreen Jones, I believe it is. It is from the World of Cross Stitching issue. It was from summer of 2019. I really don't know how to say which issue number. I don't see anything labeled on here. So. But it is the cat cushion. Gotta stitch it for my black cat. So I am currently working on this one right here, this upside down one. This is on a piece of 18 count Ada that I just picked up a uh, piece from Walmart. Not exactly my favorite material. It's definitely um, on the cheaper side, <laughs> but they'll get the job done. So I, uh, last time that you saw it, it was a partial circle. The cat was almost finished. So I was able to finish the cat and then finished up the circle, got some of these little curly cues in and around it. Needle Minder is United We Stand. It is uh, kind of honoring the Twin Towers in New York City. Got that from uh, Gina's Unique Boutique on Etsy. So I love it. I also got some of the blue. Um, that is a blue, but again, my lighting, not the greatest, but kind of filling in the background behind the flowers. And then that brings me to my new year, new start. I was so excited to start this piece. I definitely have been uh, working on kitting it up. I actually picked up the pattern from um, the wooden needle in Stowe, Vermont. 
and uh, from that New York trip, we um, we spent a few days in New York City and then left from there and worked our way up to Bar Harbor, Maine, hence um, getting to see uh, Acadia National Park. We did take a drive up through the mountains in Acadia. It was just stunning. From there, we left out of there and went through to Stowe, Vermont, and where I got this. It is part of the uh, Songbirds Garden series from Cottage, Cottage Garden Samplings. Number nine, there is beauty and simplicity. Love this whole series. And this is the first one of the series that I have started. This is on a piece of 18 count uh, fiber on a whim. Never heard of the brand, but I did get that from Stitches and Things out of Fenton, Michigan. And it is a uh, piece of 18 count in slate. I have it on a hoop because I've just been working on it. Started this on January 1st, spent much of the day working on, um, I was able to get all of the S done, I am, and then the flower, and then last night I did this portion of the flower. Uh, needle minder is from Abby Top Knot Stitcher on Etsy, uh, Top Knot sti Top Knot Stitcher is the Etsy store owned by Abby. So again, this is an 18 count slate. Uh, it is gray, my lighting here. Definitely uh, have to try to figure out a good way to do that, but it is a gray, lightly modeled. Not a whole lot, but I love it. So very excited about getting to working on that piece. So uh, with Christmas, I definitely received some amazing stitching gifts from both my mom and my sister. They, um, my mom got me some patterns that were from my wish list, and my sister picked out some perfect pieces. I had never seen them before, but she had, um, she found them and figured that they would be perfect for me. So uh, one piece, um, these are all the patterns that I received as gifts. So this is Sweet Moon from Alessandra Adelaide Needleworks. Sorry for the glare, I'm not taking that out of the plastic today. But I just love this moon, it's so pretty. My original idea has been to stitch it in a monochromatic color, kind of think an ecru or something. I'm not sure that I'm going to use the called fours. Haven't decided yet, haven't even pulled them. I do see that the face is darker, so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with that. My original idea when I found the piece is because I had a piece of material that I just thought would be perfect for a um, monochrome color, and I just love the Alessandra Adelaide pieces. Uh, so this, I've had this material for a while. Uh, it is a piece of Picture This Plus in Phantom. Uh, it is a 16 count Ada. This coloring is going to not do it any sort of justice, I know. Yeah, it's just completely washed out my coloring. Ooh. That looks pretty good right there. So beautiful blues and purples is modeling. So that's really pretty. Um, no plans set to start anytime soon, but it's that is my idea of what I wanted to do with the moon. Another piece that I pattern that I received is from Kitty Me Designs, Kitty and Me. By Pamela Kellogg. It is called Cats and Mandalas. This is um, a monthly series, I guess, and this is uh, the July particular one. Birthday is in July, and it is pretty. Gotta have my black cat, of course, and so just really pretty um, design there for the mandala. Uh, the pattern does include how to complete this if you want the cat or if you don't want the cat. So pretty perfect. I know not everybody is into cats, but that is really pretty in the background there. So uh, you can be able to complete it with or without the cat if you so choose. So, and as you'll see from here, they do have the full year. I don't think they necessarily fit such as, you know, monthly themes type of thing, but it seems like they have one for every month. So they're really pretty. Another one that I had on my nip wish list is from Northern Expression Needleworks. I'm sure everyone's seen this one by now. Uh, Twisted Rainbow Sampler. Uh, this is just the normal full cross stitch version. It is not the um, specialty stitch version. Sorry for the glare again. Um, it calls for red. I forget now. It is a satin, um, no, not satin, 
silks I've never heard of. Not really sure where to get them, so I think I may just go with the DMCs. Um, but they're really pretty. I think it may also have dinky dyes, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Um, get a nice piece of black material for that. Again, no, no current plans to start that one. So another pattern for my mom. Have never heard of this one before, hadn't seen it, but it is definitely really cute. Fitting for all of the stitchers. It is Let's Frog by Ursula Michael, and it is printed by Imaginating. I will tell you that if I haven't said this before um, or in the last video, I absolutely love designs that are released by Imaginating. So definitely cute, cute frog. It's got all the different sayings. Uh, floss, Ada, stash, stitching, one more time, six strand, cross stitch, and be happy. So all kinds of different cute little sayings. So she came across it and uh, decided that I needed to have it. So then on the patterns that I received from my sister, again, she picked out some really cute patterns that I have never seen before. Um, and she just figured that I had to have them. So first one is Window Pals, uh, designed by Cats by Kelly. Again, another imaginating. Um, my mom and sister are both stitchers and they both are, have the same opinion as I do with imaginating patterns. They're great. So more black cats. So I just love how their tails turn into a heart. So cute. Um, again, no set plans on stitching this one, but it is definitely a cute one. I love it. Another one is I'd Rather Be Stitching by Raymond Crawford. You'll see a theme here. We've got more imaginating. So I love this one. I'd Rather Be Stitching. Really cute colors. Um, it's even got a um, tomato pin cushion. So really cool. I have never come across this one, but definitely something that I need in my stash. I definitely would rather be stitching much than much of anything else. And perhaps maybe my favorite one out of all of the ones, I do have a piece of material on order. Uh, I was hoping it would come in, but it hasn't come in yet. Um, that may or may not work with this. It's charted just to be done on a piece of white Ada, but of course, that's what we've got to play around with colors, right? So we'll see what the colors, uh, when I get that material in, whether it'll work or if I do need to change that up or whatever but it is music wings by Ursula Michael and again another imaginating music music gives wing gives my soul wings and if anybody knows me they know that music is definitely one of my one of my favorite things I love going to uh, live concerts I am usually always got something going on sometimes I even prefer to just have maybe some Pandora playing while I'm sitting stitching versus watching TV or anything like that. So this, the colors in the butterfly are really pretty. So I do have DMC pulled for that. I don't have them handy at the moment. But yeah, so definitely got some great projects uh, in go or you know in progress. Got some great standby projects ready to go. Um, definitely need to work on getting some more things up. I really don't have any goals set for the year. I know a lot of people talk about plans and stuff that they want to do for the year. I'm not really necessarily somebody that's a uh, goal maker when it comes to my stitching. I stitch on what I want, when I want. I know there's been a uh, hashtag about that around there. Um, it's definitely I stitch on what calls to me. I do have that uh, 20 and 20 challenge that I'd like to see about completing. With as much stitching as I do, I don't see that being a problem. Uh, the To complete all of the national parks in full coverage definitely could be a stretch. That is a hundred thousand stitches across, you know, to complete the whole challenge. So uh, for 2019, for the stitches that I counted, which I mean, I'm always counting my stitches, I think I completed 98,000 stitches for the year. So, I mean, I guess it's always possible, but there's a lot of smaller projects that I want to start working on. So for the past couple of years, I've really been focusing on the Eagles. And then of course I've got my stitching moon. I'm ready to get into some uh, pieces that, you know, kind of smaller stuff, something that I can maybe complete this year. So uh, with that, I am going to bid you guys adieu. Hope you have a wonderful day. And just again, thank you so much for all of these sweet comments and the subscribers. I am definitely excited about making this journey and I hope you enjoy what I share here. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.